Hi everyone, so for this project you're gonna need three colors of yarn, black, green, and white, all weight four, some yarn needles, and a four millimeter crochet hook. And then you're mostly gonna need green for the black and the white, it's for the eyes, so you'll need like max maybe like two or three yards of each color. So you don't need to have a lot of these. Alright, so we're gonna start with the eyes. You're gonna grab your black yarn for the pupil, and you're going to make a magic circle, and you're going to chain three. Inside the magic circle, you're going to put eight more um, double crochets. So you did a chain three, and this is my first out of eight. So a total of eight double crochets, plus the chain three. Alright, so I have a total of eight double crochets here. I'm going to pull to tighten. Alright, so after you tighten, you're going to go to the first double crochet. Not the chain three, the double crochet. You're going to go into that stitch, pull through. And then for row two, you're going to chain two. And you're going to put two single crochets. Sorry, you're going to put two single crochets in um, the next six stitches. So this is two in the first one, two in the second. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And this way our our eye will be kind of like not a full circle, we'll just kind of be like not quite a half circle either, but it just makes it just a little flat at the bottom. And that way we can sew it on a little easier. Okay, so I have 12 um, single crochets in this row, right? Two single crochets in the first six stitches. And I'm going to cut this kind of long because we're going to use this to sew our eye on. So I'm going to do maybe like seven, eight inches, I don't know. And leave it at that. Um, we're not going to like tie it off or anything yet because now we're going to make the white of the eye. So you can go ahead and grab your white yarn now to change colors, right? You have your, your, your hook in there. You're going to turn your work to the back. Grab your white yarn, pull it through the black loop, and then pull the black loop to kind of like tighten it. Um, and now to make sure it's secure, you can go ahead and tie the white and the black together. Oh, other thing, sorry. You might want to leave this a little longer. Sorry about that. I'm going to leave it just a little bit longer. You don't have to make it as long as the black one um, because the whites of the eyes aren't going to be, aren't going to take up as much space. So yeah, just a little bit, and that'll work. Two little knots there. Cool. So now that we have changed colors, um, right, we turned our work already, so now we're going to be kind of working from the back. So we're going to be working this way now. You're going to chain one, and put one single crochet in the first stitch, one in the next, one in the next, and then two in the next. So one, 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 two. You're just gonna do that pattern. One, 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 two. One, 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 two. All right, and that's going to be the whites of the eyes. So now we're going to change color again. So again, leave a little bit of space on the white, like there. And now you're going to grab the last color, which is going to be green. And we're going to change colors the same way. Um, you're going to turn your work again. So you're now either kind of facing the front. Grab your green yarn, leave a little bit of a long tail again, pull through, tighten the white, and then you can go ahead and tie the green and the white together so that nothing comes out. All right, and now you're gonna do a chain one. Go to that first stitch do a single crochet, next a single crochet, 
Um, and here I didn't really count, I just kind of put them um, at the tops of the corners, like in these two spots. So I'm going to say maybe we'll do five of just single crochets, then in the sixth one we'll do two single crochets, and then we'll do like three single crochets, three normal single crochets, and then we'll put two single crochets in the next stitch, and then we'll do singles all the way around. So the pattern I guess for this one would be six of just like normal single crochets, one single crochet in each stitch, so those six, and then an increase, then three normal stitches, another increase, and then five. So a little funky, but um, it looks normal. All right, so, so I think the most important thing for this row is just to have um, just two increases somewhere at the top corners. It doesn't really matter where. Um, I know that that might be, I know some people are really like exact about their crochet. I kind of improvise a lot, so sorry about that. Anyways, you can go ahead and cut it and tie it off now. And this is one of our eyes. So you're gonna go ahead and make one more eye and then we'll start working on the body of the hat. Okay, so I finished both the eyes and now what you can do, um, you can grab a smaller crochet hook if you have one. And remember these like tails from the magic circle? Um, you can kind of weave them in so and then cut them off so that way they're not in the way um, in our final hat. So I'm going to poke my hook through some random places and just pull that little thread through and then I will just kind of like trim it up. So I can go ahead and do that. Um, that looks fine. And then we'll go ahead and make the base of our hat. Okay, so we can go ahead and put our eyes aside for now. Now you're going to grab your green yarn, make a magic circle, chain three, so one, two, three, and now we're going to do 13 double crochets. So we have our chain three, that's my first double crochet, second one, and we're going to do 11 more, right, so a total of 13 double crochets. Okay, so I have 13 double crochets here. I'm going to pull to tighten. Alright, and then I'm going to go into that first double crochet. That's my chain three. First double crochet. I'm going to pull through. Chain three. And for row two, you're going to put an increase in every stitch. What that means is, sorry, let me just show you. Um, you're going to go into that first stitch, by the way. Make sure you go into the right stitch. So the one kind of right at the base of the chain three. That just means you're going to put two sing sorry, two double crochets into every stitch. Um, so we're going to have a total of 26. Since row one had 13. So I'm just doubling that. Okay, so I finished row two. Now I'm going to do a slip stitch into that first single crochet again. Not the chain three. And I'm going to do a slip stitch and I'm going to chain three for row three. You're going to do an increase every other stitch. So stitch one, we have two double crochets. And stitch two, stitch two will just have one double crochet. I'm having some trouble with this. Oh my God. Okay, there we go. So it's going to be two, one, two, one. So that's going to be the pattern. So this one would be two double crochet and next would be one. And I believe your total at the end of this should be 39 stitches. So it goes 13, 26, 39. So yeah, just do this all the way around and I will see you when I'm done. So now we're going to move on to row four. Do a slip stitch into that first double crochet again. Chain three. And now we're going to put an increase in the first stitch and then just normal double crochets in the next two stitches. So it'll be, the pattern for this one will be two, one, one. And you're going to do that all the way around. All right, so that's row four. Do a slip stitch in that first 
double crochet, chain three. Now for row five, we're gonna do an increase in the first stitch, two double crochets in there. And the next three stitches get one double crochet. So it's gonna be two, one, one, one. And you're gonna do this pattern all the way around. So two double crochet, one, one, one all the way around okay so that was row five for row six do a slip stitch chain three and now it's going to be a little different you're going to put an increase in the first stitch and then for the next 12 stitches you're just going to have um one double crochet into each stitch so let me show you so one two three four, five, we're just going to do this all the way up to 12. So that's three, six, nine, twelve. Okay, perfect. So that's 12. Um, again, so increase in the first stitch, then for the next 12, one double crochet. And you're going to do that all the way around. So I just did those, a total of 13, and I'm gonna kind of start over. So I'm gonna start again with an increase, and then I'm gonna do 12 of those, of just one double crochet. And in total, you should have five increases kind of spread evenly through the, through this pattern. Okay, so I finished um, that row, and the purpose of this row is just kind of make sure the hat isn't like, have like a really hard edge. Um, so that's why we're gonna make the increases so far apart. But now um, we're gonna make the body have the hat kind of like, you know, making the sides. And to do that, do a slip stitch, um, chain three again. And you're just gonna put one single, sorry, not single crochet, double crochet, one double crochet into each stitch. And so now the hat will start to curve um, upwards a bit. And after you finish this row, I like to put the eyes on then. Um, but if you wanna put them at the end, that works as well. But I will show you how to do it. Um, just after this row so yeah just one double crochet in each stitch okay so i did that one row of where we're just doing like no increases and i'll end it with a slip stitch kind of pull it a little long um because now we're going to put the eyes on and maybe not too long if it's too long you might start weaving that end in by accident but anyways so you're going to grab your eyes and your hooks try not your hooks or needles um and just to orientate ourselves I like to have the seam at the back and then the eyes kind of at the sides. So this is the front. So I'm just going to take one of my eyes and the way I like to do it, um, right, we kind of have like five parts that we're kind of doing, right? We have this outside part and we have two of them and we have the whites of the eyes and then the pupil. So I like to make use the greens, right, for the edges. And use that to secure the eye in place first and then i'll put um, everything else in together so i like to have my eyes starting um after the third row so in this kind of gap between the third and the fourth row i like to kind of start it there and then kind of ends um, um right after i think that's the sixth row yeah so after the third and after the sixth so you have um, a total of like three rows of double crochets that the eye will be kind of sitting on, right? So in this area, I'm going to take my eye. I'm going to kind of, um, you can also use a little crochet hook. I might use a little crochet hook just for this part, um, just because I realized I cut my yarn a little short. So I'm going to go to the third kind of gap here. I'm just going to kind of see where I want to put my eye. I think that looks okay. I also want to make sure that's at the back. So I feel like if I have it like some eyes right there and over here, that'd be good. So I'm gonna, you can do this with a needle, of course. I'm gonna use a hook though. I'm gonna put my eye uh, maybe just right here. I'm just gonna grab your yarn and pull it through to the other side. And then you're going to, just to make sure it's secure, you're going to go into one stitch behind it. So this is where my yarn went in. I'm going to go into the stitch behind it. I'm going to pull 
that yarn through again. I'm going to poke it through the green part of my eye, pull that yarn through, and then bring it back down in that original hole that it came out of, right there. That's one of them. I won't tie it for now, so I'm going to put the other green side on. So for my other green one, um, now I just want to make sure that it's lined up. So I put it kind of around this stitch right here. So if I kind of like go down, I think maybe like right here would be good. Maybe in that hole. So I'm going to take my hook again. I'm going to remember where that hole was and I'm going to stick my hook in, pull my yarn through, and just kind of do the same thing. So, I think I'm going to, actually I think I'm going to do one hole over, I think I messed up a bit. So yeah, you're going to probably make a few mistakes with this, um, but yeah, just make sure you're always checking, seeing if you like the way your eyes are set. I think that looks pretty good and even. Alright, and then, so I put it in a hole, I'll go to the hole in front of it, pull it through. Then I'll go through the eye, that green part of the eye, pull the yarn through again, and go back down into the original hole. All right. But if you have your own way for sewing your eyes on, that is also perfect. So I did the green part, so now I kind of have, you know, a guess of where I want my eyes to be. Um, so now I'm going to do the white ones, um, and last I'll do the black. So white I'll also do a hook, uh, I'll probably use a needle for the black part though. Alright, so the white part is the same thing. Um, I think I'm going to, maybe, if my eye sits here, I think I want it to be around this stitch. So I'm just going to pull my white yarn under. I'm going to I'm gonna go to the other side of that same stitch, pull that yarn through, go through the white part again, pull through, that way my eye is secured, and I'm going to put that yarn back down that original little crevice I came up in. So now that the... Um, I've had both these white and green part secured. I'm just going to tie them together so that way they're, um, they won't like fall apart. So now I'll do the same with the other white part. <coughs> so now I'll do the same with the other white part. Just going to do the same thing I've been doing, wrapping it around, um, one of those stitches down there, pulling it under, pulling it up through the other side, pulling it through, using my hook. The other thing, it doesn't quite matter where you're pulling through, just as long as it's in a secure place. Um, yeah. And then bring it down again. Then you're gonna go behind and tie the white and the green together. Make sure you're tying it pretty tight so it's not like, you know, loose and floppy. All right, last part now. I think I'm gonna switch to a needle. Um, just because these might be a little long. Well, I'll trim them later, but you can go ahead and trim them. I'm gonna take that block yarn now, put my sewing needle on. All right, so my sewing needle's on, now I'm just gonna sew it on. So I'm going to go under and bring it back up. And I'm going to pick a point through the black part of the eye. And I'm going to go down again, 
bring it back up on the other side. Oops. I'm going to stick it through. Just kind of continue that, right? So going down, bringing it up on the other side, and then sticking it through the eye so that way the eye itself is secured. All right. And when you're done with your first eye, then you can go ahead and do the second eye. And then after that, you can just go ahead and um, finish the body of your hat. Sorry, one more thing. Um, so when we're sewing, when you're done sewing the black part, um, what I like to do is just tie the black yarn to, you know, one of the white or green yarns, whichever one is the closest. Um, and that'll make sure that the black yarn will also not be falling apart. Um, and after that, you can go ahead and trim them. And if you want, you can weave them in. Um, I tend not to just because I'm kind of lazy. But I will trim them so that they look kind of nice. So yeah. And then just really make sure that when you put your second eye on, you're lining it up. Sometimes you might have it lined up, but then once you begin sewing, they kind of like go other weird directions. So just always be checking in and making sure that your eyes are facing the direction you want. Okay, so the eyes are on, and like I said before, now you're just gonna go and continue making the body of your hat, and you're just gonna do that by continuing, starting each row with a chain three, and then doing one double crochet into each stitch. I'm gonna do that until I get a total of 14 rows, but you can kind of stop um, whenever you think is appropriate. Okay, so I now have a total of 14 rows, so I finished um, the hat, now we'll go ahead and do the rim. I'm going to end this slip stitch into that first double crochet, and I'm going to chain three. And for this row, the pattern is going to be an increase in every other stitch, and this will help make um, those frills. So we're going to put two double crochet in the first stitch, and then one double crochet in the next stitch. And that's going to be the pattern. Two, one. And you're going to do this all the way around for this row. Okay, so I'm done with row 15. I'm going to go to row 16 with a slip stitch. And this is also going to be the very last row. Um, then I'm going to chain three. And for this row, it's going to be a little different because now we want the frills to come out. So we're going to do five increases and then one normal stitch. So this is one increase. And I'm going to do four more. All right, so that's five increases. So after five increases, I'm just gonna do one normal stitch with just one double crochet. So it's gonna be an increase in the first five and then just one double crochet in the last stitch. Okay, so I finished the last row. I'm gonna do a slip stitch, pull through, and I'm gonna cut it off now. And now um, the only thing you really have to do now is just weave in all your ends. So by that I mean this end right here, and then inside the little tail from the magic circle. And to do that, you can just grab a smaller crochet hook. Um, you can do with a bigger one too. Um, you don't really need a smaller one, but I find it's a little easier. But I've done it with a bigger one before. And you're just going to weave it in however you want. I kind of like to weave it under a bit and then through these double crochets down here. Um, but you know, however you want, it doesn't really matter as long as it's tucked in and secure. So I'm just gonna do a little more and I'll just trim it off. Cool, and I'll do the inside. Um, and yeah, once you kind of weave these in, you'll be all done. Hopefully your hat turned out well, and hopefully you found this helpful, and yeah, thank you so much for watching.